Hello everybody. I would like to show you how to make stasis devices so you can make lots of money. So, let's go on in. So this particular base here, this is my main base, which has all of my plants. I got some carbon planters here. Right now there's no carbon, but we'll get into that later. And I'll show you how to make a lot of condensed carbon. In this dome here we have the solanium. Here we have star bulb. That's not quite ready to harvest, but that's okay. Right here is the mordite. You don't really need the mordite for stasis. Those are for fusion igniters. Here is the cactus flesh. And the fungal mold, which technically you will not need either, as it is for fusion. The gut root flower. Uh, we had just passed the gamma weed. You will need that as well. And frost crystals. You're going to need quite a bit of frost crystals as well. Ah, this is ready. We'll just harvest that. Because why not? Alright, so in a moment, I'm going to show you everything you need as far as quantity wise. So just sit right there, and I'll be right back with you. Alright, here we are. So these are all the components that you're going to need. 150 ionized cobalt, 300 condensed carbon, and again, I will show you how to make a bunch of condensed carbon. 200 star bulb, 100 cactus flesh, 50 fecium, 400 gamma root, 200 solanium, 300 frost crystals, 500 of radon, sulfurine, and nitrogen, 50 dioxide, 50 phosphorus, and 50 paraffinium. So this is everything that you need to make just one stasis device. Now I will come back at you and I will have this all broken up as to what needs to go with what to make this thing. So here we are, I told you earlier about the carbon planters. Here's the carbon planters, I'm going to grab these. I'm going to show you how to maximize your condensed carbon output. So we're going to take the carbon and put it in here and as you can see it only gives 189, so it's 2 to 1. Well, if we take some oxygen and we add it, put the oxygen in there, and now we actually get two to five. So we tripled our output. Let's go ahead and do that. And the same goes with cobalt, because you're going to need a lot of ionized cobalt to do this as well. So the easiest way to maximize your output is, again, put oxygen in there. Right now we're only getting 150. Put oxygen in there, and now we get 750. So you nearly tripled your output. So we'll go ahead and kick that off. And while that is cooking up, We'll take this time to show you the breakdown of each component and start building the stasis device. So just hang right there. So here we are. I have everything divided up to the way it's going to need to be. The ionized cobalt with the other, uh, min uh, uh, not so much minerals, but items. Dioxide, phosphorus, paraffinium. Well, I guess it is a mineral. So we're going to take the ionized cobalt and the dioxide to make granite. And all of these blueprints can be obtained through manufacturing facilities.
Now we're going to take the ionized cobalt and the phosphorus and make mango gold. And then we will take the ionized cobalt and the peripenium and make aronium. The three of these combined will make iridescite. So now that we have our iridescite made, we're done with those components. So now we'll move on to the gases. Now the gases is a little bit tricky because if you make it the wrong way, you'll make the wrong item. So I break it down like this just so I don't uh, mess myself up. So first off, Let's take the sulfurine and the condensed carbon and we will make a thermal condensate. Okay, we'll set that over there. And then we will take nitrogen and carbon and we will make nitrogen salt. Now the two of those combined will make a semiconductor. So we'll go ahead and we'll make that semiconductor. And now we need to turn that semiconductor into a superconductor. And we do so by making enriched carbon using the radon and the condensed carbon. Now the enriched carbon in the semiconductor will create a superconductor. So now we'll come back to the gases in a bit. For now, let's work on our plants. So what we want to make here is a polyfiber using our cactus flesh and our star bulb. We'll set that to the side. Then we want to make the heat capacitor using our selenium and our frost crystal. And as you can see, I, I separated the frost crystal because we need this 200 here to make glass. We need to make five glass Okay. So now, so now that we got our glass made, let's go ahead and take this polyfiber and the heat capacitor and we'll combine that to a circuit board. Circuit boards are another thing that you can make early on to make quite a bit of money. With our superconductor and our circuit board though, we can make the quantum processor. Now, let's go ahead and our, make the rest of our gases. So, we'll go ahead and we'll make another nitrogen salt. And this time, we're going to make the enriched carbon first, before the thermal condensate. Because when we combine the two this way, it actually makes hot ice. And then now we will make the thermal condensate. Then you will take the thermal condensate and the hot ice and combine those two together to make the cryo pump. And cryo pumps, those those sell for quite a bit of units too. One million five hundred thousand. 
So now we need to convert that cryo pump, but before we do that, we need the lubricant. So we use our 400 gamma root and our 50 fecium, and we make the lubricant. Then the lubricant with the five pieces of glass will make living glass. Now with the living glass and the cryo pump together, we will make a cryogenic chamber. Now all three of these components, the cryogenic chamber, the quantum processor, and the iridescite combined together will make your stasis device. 15,600,000 units. A lot goes into them and a few farms are needed. So if you sit tight, I'll show you my farms. Well, at least in the teleport list. Be right back. And here you are. So the PS5 New Normal is my farm that has all the plants. Then we have a dioxide radon farm, a nitrogen and cobalt farm, a sulfurine and phosphorus farm, and a paraffinium and oxygen farm. So if you would like more information on how to find these mineral and gas hotspots, Leave a comment below and let me know and I'll do some tutorials on that as well. And as always, be safe, be happy, and be well. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.